We're going to do a short stretching sequence that we do in our school before any Qigong practice. If we open the joints and the tissues in the body before we start doing Qigong, it's much easier for us to get the qi flow uh, in a more free way. Also in Qigong it's important that we have a neutral body posture. If our posture is a little bit slumped, then the qi will be a bit stagnated here, for example. Um, or if it's too tense, maybe rising up in the chest too much, too much she will be led to this area. So if we stretch the body evenly, in a balanced way, then when we do our qigong and standing, the qi will be able to flow in a more natural way. Okay, I always like starting with a little bit of bouncing because it just shakes up any stagnations and tenseness in our body. Um, if you can't bounce for any reason, then I want you to just start with rotating the hips out, getting the quad, this area, bikini line, stretched open both ways. Also do it inwards a few times, lengthen through the lower spine, outside of the hips. So you get both inside and outside. But if you can bounce, then just bounce lightly. Release the shoulders. So just let them hang and drop. Forget about the outside world. Just be here now. And just shake. We're gonna take a few nice deep breaths. And on the out breath, we're gonna also sigh because this shakes the diaphragm. So we're shaking the inside and the outside of the body. Let's take a deep breath in. to do if your breath feels stuck anywhere or if it feels stagnated here. <sighs> Just a few more, release, release the whole body, let everything shake, release any men unnecessary mental tension. <sighs> okay, and then we're going to interlock the fingers. We're going to stretch the whole body up. Release the hips and the legs down. Lengthen everything in the ribs up. Just make small movements. Just easing out the body, creating more space. Now we're gonna rotate to one side. So we twist the lower spine, middle, upper, and the neck, and we look behind. And the other direction, twist, look behind. Change and twist. Change and twist. Into the center and pull the arms back. Release the shoulders down, lengthen out through the arms. And we're going to rotate the shoulders forwards. Get the movement as smooth as you can and big as you can without forcefully creating tension. Release and create more space and movement. And we're going to do backwards. Letting it pull open through the chest at the same time. Keep the mind listening inside the area that you're working on and keep releasing it. We're going to rotate the hips. Start nice and gentle. And slowly increase the circles. Keep your legs and your muscles and the legs released and the feet as well. If we have ten unnecessary tension in the legs and the feet, then the lines and the muscles going up into the hips will be more tense. So we release them so that this area around the hips can open. And the other direction. 
start small and gradually make it bigger. As we go, we stretch the side, the back, the other side and the front. So we're getting all the parts of the torso. And then we're going to get some mobility into our spine. We're going to do a spine wave. We drop the pelvis down and we push out the lower back, the middle, the upper back and then into the neck. Drop the pelvis down, expand the lower back, the middle, the upper, and the neck. So you're getting this smooth wave through the back. Keep the mind inside your spine. Listen for areas where the vertebrae might stick and they might not be as free as they should be and just work a little bit extra on those areas, a little bit extra awareness and letting them open. Good exercise to do in front of a mirror so you can see where it might be a bit clunky movement. And then at the same time, as we send the wave up, as we drop the pelvis, try to keep the head here. So we're lengthening the spine. And then as we send the wave up, we also try to create more space in the vertebras. So we're moving them and creating more space. This is a really good exercise for the whole spine. So if you have time, you could work on this exercise longer sometimes. Just getting everything moving. And we're going to push open the knees, place the elbows onto the knees. So distributing our weight down into the legs. It should be easy to stay here. Place the mind inside the core, speaking the ninth area. It's a really important area to open up in Qigong and any internal arts. We do a lot of movement from here. And move a little bit side to side, push the knees out. Keep releasing this area. Breathe nice and deep into the body. Into the center, push a little more. Feel a nice deep stretch. Hands onto the knees. And then we're going to twist. So behind our shoulder. Nice deep twist for the spine. And the other way. Twist, look behind. And straighten the legs, we're going to do poo-boo. The high version of the poo-boo is that we straighten one leg and we bend a little bit into the other leg. And we try to get all of this stretching, lengthening through the upper body, so we get this whole line. So on both sides, just make sure you don't go past your knee. You want to have a good angle to protect the knee, so the knee stays over the foot. Don't go further than that. If you can, go lower. You can support yourself on the knee if you want. If you can, you can go all the way down to the floor. Go to whichever height is good for your body. Listen inside. If you're down at the floor, we can make small movements into the hips. Working them open. Breathe nice and deep into the body. And the other side. Down. Keep your mind on the area that needs to release. Change. If you're down on the floor, lift the foot up. Push the legs opposite directions, elbow inside the knee. You can work your upper body down towards the floor as well. If you want to increase the stretch, if you don't, stay higher. Other side. Lift the toes up. Elbow inside the knee. Push the legs opposite directions. Work into the hips. I'm going to push forwards to one side. You can do a high version of this. Lengthening through the front of the body. Really good area to stretch if you do a lot of sitting. 
or the low version, you can place the knee onto the floor. We're going to lengthen the arms up in both versions. And we're going to lengthen the ribs away from the hips. Breathe nice and deep into the torso, create more space for your lungs and your organs. Bring the arms down, and we're going to change over to the other side. High version, or the low version. Stretch all the way around the front of the body. Breathe nice and deep into the torso. Release the shoulders down. Sit down onto the floor. Place the feet together. And we're gently going to bounce open the hips. We always have a lot of tension in our hips. There's a lot of muscles that need to release and open. Then we're going to cross the legs. If you can cross it here, do that. And work on Working it open, if you can do one leg on top, you can do that. And we're going to bring the upper body down towards the floor. As you do it, ensure that you try to move all the way from the lower spine and down. Yes. So we don't just try to move from the upper spine down. This can be tricky. You can have someone help you by pushing down onto your lower spine or grabbing hold of your hands and pulling you down. Just go to wherever it stretches nicely and breathe into the body. Breathe as deep into the back as you can. Let a breath extend deep into the belly, into the back, into the coccyx area. We want it all to be able to move nice and free. And the out breath, release deeper into the stretch. Come up into the center. And we're going to go down over one leg. Breathe nice and deep into the body. Keep your mind inside the areas that needs to release on the out breath. Release deeper into the stretch. And the other leg. Roll up into the center. Straighten the legs out. Lift the bum off the floor if you can. Shake your legs a little. And then bring the feet into a squatting position. We're going to roll over the feet, getting all the bones of the feet to spread. We need the base of our feet to be open when we do a lot of the Qigong standing. Particularly the kidney one point on the front part of the feet. And we're going to roll forwards onto our knees. Placing the hands onto the floor. We lengthen the front of the body up. Look up as well, stretch through the eyes. Take a nice deep breath. Feel the stretch increase inside the body. And release and spread it back up. Create more space in the back of the spine. Also through the neck. Release it and lengthen it. Mm. Open the front part of the spine again. 
lengthen the head away from the bum. Take a deep breath. And push the back up. Maybe you can create a little bit more space this time. And just into the center. Make soft tripling movements through the spine. Try to get it all moving. Sometimes it can be a bit fused. You want to have good mobility in the tissues. You're going to bring the body down towards the floor. If you have any spine injuries, be very careful with this one. Make sure that you lengthen the upper body up and away from your hips instead of backwards. We don't want to contract the spine that way. Lengthen the head up. Take a deep breath. Maybe small movements into the hips. And then lengthen, look behind one side. And the other side, look over your shoulder. Into the center, sit back. Over your legs. And breathe as deep as you can into the torso, the abdomen, the back, all the way down to the coccyx if you can. And on the out breath, release the tissues more. Release any unnecessary tension. One more time, forwards towards the floor, and lengthen up. Release the hips down, small movement. And sit back over the legs. Keep the arms a little bit forward, so we're getting a lengthening through the whole spine, the muscles through the back. Take a deep breath, on the out breath, release any unnecessary tension. And from here, we're going to do a really good quad stretch. So we bring the knees out to the sides, body down, having the knees spread. And then we just make small movements here. Keeping your mind on the quad and the inside of the hips, releasing it. You can stay a little bit in the center. And just breathe. Let it open. Let it go. And bring the upper body down, gracefully bring your legs straight back. Lengthen up one last time. And we're going to straighten our legs. And drop the chest in towards the floor, releasing the head. If it's difficult to get the heels down to the floor, we're going to walk them down one at a time. And stay in the center, release deeper into the stretch. Lengthen the bum up away from your hands, up towards the sky. Now we're going to walk forwards. We're going to stay here. We're going to shake our bum a little bit. We're going to shake out the whole spine. You can have the legs. Straight or a little bit bent if you want, whichever feels best. And just shake it out. 
Now we're slowly going to come up. Roll this onto the spine open. Roll the shoulders back for a good posture. Hopefully the whole body feels a little bit more lengthened now. After we've done stretching sometimes, I just like pausing in this new found posture. Close the eyes and just take a few nice deep breaths into that increased space inside the body. Letting all the tissues settle into that new good shape. And from here, you can settle down into your Qigong posture. 